What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and welcome to another episode of the What I Wore This Week series. Today in a new format because I've been playing around with a bunch of new things, and um, I'm excited to be walking you through. It's a little bit of a blend between the getting dressed and the What I Wore This Week. So uh, without further ado, I got seven fall winter outfits for you. Some coats, some puffer jackets, earth colors, some interesting color combinations, I think. So without too much talk, let me talk some more. Outfit number one that we have right here, we're starting out in a Reese Traveler pants, single pleat in black, uh, pairing that with the Converse 70s Plus in black with a little bit of that cream accent, which I immediately am picking up on with the Bugatti turtleneck cable knit sweater. Absolutely love this thing. I've been halfway living in it. Then gorgeous new piece in my wardrobe, the Todd Snyder, forest green alpaca wool overcoat and they were finishing that off with a black scarf from Aritzia women's scarf really nice clean look black and cream with that green accent absolutely love this look the color combination that coat really shining the texture of the cable knit with the texture of that coat and then that clean finish with the sneakers as well I love this. Next up, we are starting out in a pair of cargo pants from Todd Snyder and sneakers from Todd Snyder as well. I absolutely love those. I just got those, um, well, the sneakers you know, but I just got those cargos and they are insane. The, the really nice heavyweight fabric, beautiful khaki color. A uh, simple base layer from Abercrombie and then up top a hoodie from Les Deux in another tan color. So you see we're going for earth tones, specifically brown. Here we have a puffer jacket from the Descendants of Thieves. Then we're throwing on a little knit beanie and light brown hood on top of that. And that's the outfit. It's definitely a bit more street, a bit more relaxed, a bit more laid back. Um, I literally wore this the other day just running errands, but I really, really like the combination of those pieces all together with the different brown tones. Next up, we are starting out in a pair of chinos from, uh, those are from Banana Republic, that same Abercrombie shirt as a base layer again. Uh, the chinos are cropped, but they're a straight, relaxed fit, which is nice. And then we have from uh, Les Deux, once more, a turtleneck in a nice taupe, color. I got this last year. I'm still wearing it. It's a really nice high quality turtleneck. Then we've got from uh, Black Sock and Weber the loafers. Once more I'm wearing them with white socks. You can't stop me uh, on Instagram. Everybody's kind of like against that but I'm loving it and we're finishing that off with an ASOS double breasted coat and a brown beanie that's almost a perfect match. I scored this coat on Black Friday. Got it for like 40-50 bucks I think. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit oversized, a little bit droopy, but the color combination here absolutely works for me. Next up, we're starting out in Abercrombie faded black jeans, then a brand new pair of P448s and a green color with gray laces, white tongue that we're picking up on with the Oxford from Untucket. On top of that, from Yet France, a uh, Urban Outfitters in-house brand, a crew neck sweater, a little gray beanie, and then we're finishing that off with a snowboard jacket from Bogner. Corduroy, faded green, grayish quality, absolutely sick, and it's a snowboard jacket, but it also absolutely works as ready to wear. So I wanted to put together a little outfit here. I can't make it clear enough for you how much I love this jacket and how excited I am to hit the slopes now that I got this in my wardrobe. But overall, I'm loving the like elevated skater look with the button down and the layers, but then a very simple color palette. Next up, we have burnt orange corduroy pants from Les Deux. Ah, oh, I love them. Brand new in my closet. One more time, that Abercrombie t-shirt. It's just a solid base layer. On top of that, another piece from Abercrombie, a quarter zip sweatshirt. Then we have another pair of P4048s, uh, basically a mountain sneaker. Amazing, like a puffer jacket for your feet. A little out there, but I really like them. Work really well with this Golden Goose double-breasted boucle overcoat. And then a cap from Les Deux, my AirPods Max and another Aritzia scarf in gray to pick up on the gray color in the laces. Definitely a little experimental here. We've got black and a few darker gray tones, and then that pop of orange, which is also kind of represented in the cap itself. I absolutely love the colors here, but it is a little bit out there. Already up, second to last, we've got a navy corduroy vintage pants, a Koss shirt in light blue up top, my Puma X Ami Paris high top sneakers in white with some cream accents, and then we're throwing on the Macage cashmere puffer jacket. I, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it all around. We've got two cold weather accessories, a Les Deux beanie and a rag and bone scarf. I thought they would go, but they're not really matching perfectly, so I'm trying the scarf first on its own, but I don't love that 
as well. So it ended up being just the beanie for me, a little bit of that cream to pick up on the cream in the shoes and balance it out with the blues and grays, obviously button up a little bit. And then you have a, a really relaxed, comfortable look that still has a dressed up aesthetic. Last but not least, uh, a few more earth tones. We've got cargo pants from Top Man. We've got my brand new New Balance 530s that I haven't shown you guys yet here on YouTube. And two more pieces from Les Deux. One, the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Gorgeous color, like that really faded medium brown. Then a boucle cream over shirt. Ugh, so many dope new pieces I got this week. I'm, I'm, th this, this video literally shot itself, or these outfits made themselves. Um, really liking the combination here of the three very different brown tones and how they are kind of represented in the sneaker and then finishing that off with a Zara scarf that once more is almost like that perfect match for uh, the pants, but if you don't love it, you can obviously leave it off. It still works really well. And that's it. I feel like this is a sprint today, but that's okay because I'd like to keep you guys on your toes and uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which look was your favorite. I feel like there was a good amount of diversity, good amount of color palettes in there today. So please let me know your comments down below. Excited to see you guys feedback and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Either next week or the following week I'm doing that earth tone capsule wardrobe video for you. But if you have a couple more recommendations on what you want to see right now around the holiday season, maybe some holiday party outfits, which is something I already thought about. Anyway, talk to me. I'm reading the comments, I'm trying my best to get back to however many I can, but I also think I'm moving in a couple of weeks. So that's really exciting and gonna be really stressful. I'm gonna try and keep up my weekly videos for you guys though. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye y'all.